The Australian bush is quite subtle. You've got to go gently into it and quietly into it and spend a little bit of time and your eyes become used to the subtlety of it. When you allow yourself to filter in the colour and light, you see these extraordinary little spots of colour, these little glowing personalities, whatever they are, it's very touching. Orchids are just fantastic. They seem to have everything going for them. They're beautiful, they're full of character. Every orchid is different, every little face is different, every feature is different. So I never get sick of looking at them. As soon as I find an orchid that I haven't seen before, I lay myself down on the ground and pull out my camera and try to get as good a shot as I can. And usually I'm, sh I'm taking photographs for two reasons. I'm taking a photograph to catch the beauty of the flower. But I'm also, if it's something I haven't seen before, I'm taking a, a photograph to try and identify it. The little duck orchid has quite a different way of pollinating. When an insect lands on the, the beak, as it were, of the duck, the beak snaps shut and brings the insect into the body of the orchid, pushing it against the column so that pollen is transferred. After about 20 minutes, maybe, the, the bill comes back up, releases the insect, and off it goes again to the next orchid. I think the knowledge that you gain is something about enriching your relationship with the country. And I'm really fixated on caring for this country. I see myself as a caretaker. The more I know about it, the better I can look after the country.